Kathleen Martinez, an ambitious lawyer with a strange obsession with Cleopatra, set off to Egypt without funding or official authorization to find the ancient queen's tomb. Up until very recently, Kathleen Martinez had been looking for the tomb for nearly 17 years. Stay tuned as we look at Kathleen Martinez and Cleopatra's tomb mystery and the truth about her 17-year search. Kathleen Martinez Whenever boredom sets in, some folks choose to sleep. Rather than wasting her time, Kathleen Martinez Berry turns her downtime into a productive career. When Martinez was bored while caring for her second kid, she decided to pursue a master's degree in archaeology, a field that had always interested her. This made her want to learn more about Cleopatra, the last queen of Egypt and probably the richest and most powerful woman in the world during her time. We'll talk more about her life and time, so keep watching. Martinez's journey has taken her from a disgruntled life as a criminal attorney in the Dominican Republic to that of a self-made Egyptologist on the verge of solving one of archaeology's greatest enigmas, the location of Cleopatra's tomb. What inspired Kathleen Martinez? Martinez claimed that she had always had an interest in archaeology, even as a child, but her parents had discouraged her because of the lack of a historical basis for the field of the Dominican Republic. They insisted she pursue an education in a field that would be financially viable for her country, and she listened. While she knew she would never be able to make a living in the subject, her fascination in archaeology persisted over the years, and she eventually decided to pursue it as a hobby. Our channel is all about finding the truth in the things everyone else is scared to talk about, like the crime families of New York and Death Valley. So if you share in that interest, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. She had no idea that one day, out of the blue, she'd be asked to head up a whole Egyptian excavation team in search of Cleopatra's tomb. She spent 15 years researching not only Cleopatra as a historical figure, but the mystery surrounding her final days as well. If the world was crazy about King Tut, it would be way crazier about Cleopatra's tomb if found. Besides the scientific value of finding it, can you imagine what it will do to tourism in Egypt? said Martinez. She obviously had some sort of significance behind her rather unconventional method of dying. Kathleen Martinez took it upon herself to investigate Cleopatra and examine the many sides of her person and career. She followed in the footsteps of Cleopatra and Mark Anthony to the Temple of Taposiris Manga by compiling ancient literature, especially those of medieval Arab and Egyptian writers, as well as stelis and papari. She continues to represent a select group of high-profile clients in a limited number of cases. It's unsettling when a client calls while she's in a hidden room, yet she occasionally gets called for consultations. The Life and Times of Cleopatra As for Cleopatra, Kathleen Martinez Berry offers a few words. Having Greek blood made Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, a strong leader. She was the first famous person and the strongest woman in her era, and her personality was just as fascinating as her status. She defied the odds by getting an education at a time when it was illegal for women to do so, and she spent her life working tirelessly to do what she was obligated to do. Kathleen Martinez claims that Cleopatra's mystery held her spellbound. Her motivation to pursue what she does is discussed getting to the end of the video. Stick around till then. It's a real lifesaver. Her palace stood as a symbol of her dominance and as an impressive landmark. She controlled Egypt and spent a lot of time making deals with Roman officials to stave off an invasion. She killed herself while waiting for the Romans to arrive, having concluded that her resistance was futile. The poison of a snake, a creature often used to represent heavenly royalty, proved to be the final straw for Egypt's last queen. The 39-year-old wished to be buried beside her husband, Marcus Antonius, or Mark Antony, as he was most widely known. In what way was Cleopatra's palace destroyed? After an earthquake and ensuing tsunami, Ancient Egypt's renowned capital of Alexandria was completely wiped off the map. Antir Hodos, where Cleopatra had a palace, was similarly wiped off the map. While the location of Cleopatra's tomb remains unknown, new sites for underground temples have been uncovered. The island of Antir Hodos sank after an earthquake and tsunami a few centuries after Cleopatra's death, submerging its palace beneath around 10 meters of murky water in a small harbor. A French archaeologist named Frank Odillo in the 1990s uncovered the writings of the Greek historian named Strabo, which provided the first full account of Cleopatra's palace in over 2,000 years. Kathleen Martinez says that Antir Hodos Island was near the coast of ancient Alexandria in a bay. Oh, poor thing. Kathleen Martinez's discoveries as an archaeologist Kathleen Martinez discovered six previously unknown burial chambers, 
reshaping our understanding of temple and tomb design. A total of 40 coins depicting Cleopatra and Mark Antony, an alabaster bust of Cleopatra, metal plates and other artifacts were also discovered in the area where the tombs were located. Some people believe Cleopatra's tomb will never be discovered, while others are unconvinced. Unlike Cleopatra's tomb, there's something that has been found that you can visit. It's the Death Valley. To make your trip more enjoyable, we recommend watching our video on the top 5 things you can't miss during your visit to Death Valley National Park. Find it here! Death Valley National Park – Top 5 Things You Can't Miss When Visiting